Welcome. This is the scale example which can be used for a research tree and also for a tech tree. Um, the graph is connected to the UI and uh, in this case the UI items um, are pre-configured so they will not be created automatically because um, at skill tree you want your own lines between the nodes and your own style. Um, the graph looks similar to the, to the um, skill tree. It's just a 90 uh, degree rotated. So the fireball is here and lightning bolt is here. And, and um, it works with uh, name mapping because I want some automatic uh, behavior behind the system. So I um, choose the name and the name must uh, be um, equal to the names, to the game object names um, of these uh, entries and that you can see um, here. Um, like um, Fireball and the name is Fireball and at starting the game um, the names will be matched and so the items will be uh, mapped uh, to the uh, nodes. The nodes itself um, um, has again ha have again a, a trigger condition. Consumer condition and trigger condition. A trigger condition is uh, something which is switch for a very short time in success state and and um, it, it triggers uh, one step um, in the task um, and if the consumer um, is also in success state then it would uh, trigger for a short time a success state and then uh, the task node itself would activate it um, it um, um, its outgoing connection so in this case the operation node and the fireball area effect and but if the consumer condition um, is in running mode so it not in success mode then the trigger if the trigger switches to success state it has no um, impact on the state of the task because uh, both conditions must be in success state um, to switch the task in uh, to switch the task in a success state so um, the consumer condition um, the, the user condition will be a consumer condition when enable container access has been activated so then it is a user con uh, a consumer condition um, because then it has access to the container, to the only one container, and it will change the values. Um, um, the green light uh, means an activated, it will be consumed. Um, if it is uh, not activated, it means um, it will be not consumed. And um, in this case, um, if I if I click on this on a button. And exactly on the fireball button, then uh, one skill point will be consumed and the level will be just checked. So the player must be um, at least on level 10 and but not will not be consumed, just a um, condition that it must be so. And then um, we get a fireball and uh, then later on you can very simply check uh, these values and there are the skill points, very simple. If you click, then you remove it. If um, you get one, then you can add it from outside, from your user code. And the level, um, yes, you have to update your level and then everything works fine. And and uh, yeah, and when you have a fireball, then it, it counts to one. And there is another skill also, that is the spell damage in which you can um, spend five skill points and it can be then 
also very simple um, read, right? Because if it is five, maybe you multiplicate, uh, you just um, um, improve by your spell image by by writing plus um, a discount um, multiplied by by a factor. So uh, very simple, and it would work automatically because. Um, Null multiply multiplied with with uh, with something is null and one will be one and and it's pretty automatically it works pretty automatically. You just have to um, write your code correctly. And then if there are one, then means you have it simply by the another effects. Um, and if you um, change for example at clicking a button if you change the scale points or add a fireball then uh, fireball exists just one time but if you add a, if you remove a skill point then all the uh, skill point dependent um, nodes will be updated and this is kind of an optimization um, in this example, it makes uh, not much sense because it all depends on skill points. But uh, in other examples, it would just uh, denote uh, updated which have a skill point item referenced. So let's run the scene. And you see the first uh, three um, scales are um, in active mode, so they can be clicked. And my, I will show the container. Maybe it's interesting. Um, I have here the fireball, and there is fireball. And if I click on it, then it switch to one. And if I click on this and switch to one and so on and cannot be clicked again and then I have can spend here five points and if I do this yes then can click more and um, it works fine um, this yellow point that I marked is um, this one it is a simple end node that means all incoming must be in success state to activate the next ones and that happens here and the red one is uh, something which uh, um, is this note here and it, it, if, it, if this one will be activated then there are three small buttons and it means um, failure on a uh, concurrent task it means the first one who activates this um, and don't have um, will not have this um, impact, but the another, which are concurrently activating this one, will be um, set in failure uh, state. And that means just one can be um, chosen from the boss. And so if I take this one, then the another will be grayed out, but um, not so clearly visible, but it grayed out and cannot be clicked anymore. So, and then I can mm, Click this one and and this one and um, that's all. And I see that the uh, container itself um, lost all the skill points. I had to have twelve, and I, I guess uh, that's correct. One, two, three. Uh, yes, 12 distributed, and so I don't have more, and but I don't have more scales, so I have everything. And so um, now I can show you um, what happens when I change the level. And you can see that uh, the first one needs level 10, 20, 30, and 40, and I can maybe I set it to level 
22 there so define the level 22 and if I run this again then um, um, I can build this 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 one this one but I am not able anymore to uh, click on this because the level is uh, 22 and this one is 30 and also here I can see them but I can click on them because um, level is not um, enough for that so it works pretty well and yes uh, the code and the code behind um, source code behind this is very simple um, this is the main UI um, manager which is um, on the on the root of the UI tree just some um, components are mapped for example the prefab of the scale tree entry uh, <coughs> wouldn't be necessary I guess because I generated them manually and then um, I have um, yes this is the manager um, singleton and can be called my scale tree GUI controller point instance everywhere and yes by by a week I have to um, connect the uh, notification from the graph and the first one means I want to have the notification that we that it should be in is in initialized and this one runs at the beginning first uh, one time and then I and here I map the names by this way on a predicate, predicate and um, I get then the skill tree item by also by iterating the task nodes and the graph by searching for the skill tree item by name by matching the name and then the arrow then you will see this and um, then I um, set on this scale tree item the task and that is this is the mapping so the scale tree item knows the task then later on and then I know that all these nodes have a consumer condition and so enable container access is true then it's consumer if not then it is a trigger and for that I have a, a trigger condition dictionary a task recognition dictionary and a task uh, resource condition dictionary. So I know um, <coughs> and to, to one entry uh, what is your task, what is your consumer condition and what is your um, um, trigger condition and I uh, want to have them to have a fast uh, access to this um, these um, instances and this will be just called one time at the beginning then I connect the actualized task data then to task task um, state changes then this method will be, will be called and if the conditions will be changed then this will be called and so this um, task changes and I use here a um, coroutine and also in actualizer condition I in both cases if the state changes um, I just actualize the items the item which on which the impact no all the items and that's very simple um, the item itself is also very short and yes just checks the states and uh, sets the correct um, um, sets the alphas for the 
images um, to to um, animate cl clicks or to gray them out or whatever and then here um, clicked on is also very simple because I simply set them to successful yeah no that yes the trigger condition will be here set from externally successful so this is the connection between the button the button triggers um, the clicked on and it triggers over the can show this um, so one of the entries and it has a button and this button triggers clicked on so this is the connection and then the trigger will be um, activated and yes and and this a uh, pointer enter on and a pointer exit just for the pop-up information and this is also this is here by event trigger script you know, this event trigger script and then you can check in pointer enter and pointer exit and that's this is very simple so um this example is pretty simple and pretty powerful because you can um you have um, um, the similar tree in your um, graph uh, to the tree in your um, UI. Um, this is painted. This must be painted by by yourself, and it looks then very normally very similar to the what you uh, to the graph. And if you are in a later state of your uh, game development um, a very simple um, view over what you have what your skill tree is if you if you know for example Paths of Exile um, it has an extremely complex skill system and if you hard code this then um, I, you wouldn't see um, you wouldn't have any overview um, and but if you then if you would make it with the with graph and if you would lay out it uh, similar to to the UI that you paint in the UI then you could have <laughs> a, a basic overview over this uh, um, incredible complex graph so um, yes um, I can recommend you this um, this um, asset for skills because um, we have an overview um, with the graph and um, there is this working solution and well, and yes and um, I guess it is um, satisfies um, um, a lot or maybe every um, skill trace I ever seen in j in games so um, that's all thank you for watching